Hey YouTubers, um, just to get to the point, I've been super, super into watching people's blush collection videos. I don't know why, um, usually not that big of a blush person. I pulled out all my blush and I'm kind of overwhelmed by how much blush I actually have. I'm a little bit like, I guess taken aback by it all. Let's get started because I'm trying to look to see if I could like put them anywhere when I'm done with them, but I guess I'll put them in my drawer, but they're going to get mixed up. Anyway, where to start? This is my Dream Matte Mousse, not Dream Mousse, Dream Mousse Blush by Maybelline in the color Peach Satin. You can see that there. It's really pretty. It's gorgeous. I've used a lot of it. It's really good for my skin tone for the summer, that like goldeny pinky peach color. Kind of more again on the cream blush. This is the Ulta Cream Blush in Playful. But um, this is the in the old packaging. The Wet n Wild Silk Finish Blush in... I've showed this in a video before, but I honestly can never find the name for these. They don't have a name. It's really disappointing, but it looks like this in the packaging. Okay, um, this is a Maybelline blush in Blush by an Angel. It has a little snowflake design in it. And this is really light. It like barely shows up on my skin. It's like super light. Um, this is another, this is my first, second blush I ever owned after I ran out of my first one, which was an Aziza one from the dollar store, which I still have, but at home. And it's Berry Sorbet, the Maybelline blush. This was like the first blush I really ever owned before I became like an addict. Here's my another, another Maybelline blush in Peach Paradise, and it kind of has like this cool design on it. Peach Paradise. Maybe like a limited edition. Not sure. I have tons of Maybelline blush because they sell it at the dollar store in the old packaging. This is... But they put it in the worst spot. I don't know the name to this one because... It's by Maybelline. It's like that. These are all starting to look the same, aren't they? Um, here's another Maybelline one. This one is in Raspberry Whisper. It's like, these look like this, but this one like looks super intense, doesn't it? Actually, it doesn't look that intense, but here's another Maybelline blush, and this one's darker. Like I said, these at the dollar store come in certain packaging that rip off the names of them, but this is what it looks like. Whoop. Kind of peachy, bronzy kind of color. Um, this is another Maybelline one. Does this one have the name? This is Rose. I'm actually missing the. The brush for it. And another Maybelline one in Beach Club Coral. Beach Club Coral. Here's my other Ulta cream blush. This one I like better than the other one because it's more peachy. This one's in Bashful, and I think this is really pretty. Look how pretty and peachy and rosy that is. I like it. Um, here's another Wet n Wild Silk finish one. Let's see if this one has a name. No, it doesn't. That's kind of poopy. This one's like super intense. The thing about these blushes is a little bit goes a long way, like. That's one sweep of my finger across it. And look how much comes off on my hand. Look at there. These are really intense, good blushes. This is my NYC, though you can't tell because it's all worn off, Cheek Glow Powder Brush in West Side Wine. And it's the one that has like that quilted pattern on it. You can't tell at the bottom because it's worn off from the amount of times I've worn it. The thing about these blushes is they're really kind of good. Like, there's the color when you first get them, but then like 
they get hard so like you can't really get to the color this is my hard candy I love the look of these blushes but this is the only one I have and it's in honeymoon it's a super soft light pink like I can only use this as a highlight because it's so light and soft I actually have another blush that I just look how light that is that I left accidentally in my train case in the bathroom but I'm not it's like it's a cover girl one and like plum or something like that I'm not gonna waste my your guys time to go get it this one is the L'Oreal Feel Natural it comes in this packaging it's in charmed peach look at how much product you get and these are really soft and pigmented it's very peachy and I mean, everybody said this kind of combats orgasm, Nars orgasm, but I don't think so. I think this has more, it's more peach. Then I have my, I guess this can count as a blush. It's my e.l.f. all over color stick in, I hate the smell of these. I really do. Pink lemonade, but. This is what it looks like. I don't really like this because it's too much of an intense blue undertone for me. Like, if you look at it closely, sometimes you can see the blue in it, and I don't like that. Um, this one's a CoverGirl blush in Cinnamon Twist. Looks like this. This one's more of a bronzy blush. It's considered a blush, but. If I use this, I've used it as a blush sometimes, but I kind of would take it more of as a bronzer because it looks more bronzy. Okay, this actually is my physician's, it's not really a blush, it's my physician's formula mineral glow pearls in translucent pearl. Looks like that. And this is definitely a highlight color. I also have the Physician's Formula Cheek Palette in the Peach Palette, which is cream blushes. Looks like they don't have these anymore. I actually found this at Five Below. Ah, but there's all these different little peach colors in there. Very cute, very cute. Oh my god, I'm already racking up this video really a long time. Ah, next is my NYC. You guys have seen this before. Blushable Cream Stick in Plaza Pink. So you can see that there really pretty. You can watch my review on that if you want to see it more swatched. This is my Milani blush, mineral powder blush in Mai Tai. This one's actually pretty popular and I bought this before it was like considered really popular. And then I was like oh I just happened to buy a really popular blush but you can see that it's been in my makeup bag for a while because all the lettering on the front of it has worn off. Um, then I have my e.l.f contouring powder thing and blushed bronze. I'm only doing this for the blush side, which is right there, which also says, Isla said, it's on my, this finger right here. Everyone says it's like Nars, Nars Orgasm, once again. It's very similar, but like I said, it's a little more peach. This is my Wet n Wild Ultimate Mineral Blush Pinched Peak, Pinched Pink. Oh, try saying that ten times fast. Pinch, 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 pinch. Mm, no, I can't. I don't. I don't really think. I'm scared to open. It. Oh yeah, it has a little thing on it, but it looks like this. I don't really want to open it because then I'll. I will spill it everywhere. Like honestly, I'll get it everywhere. But I have another one, and it's in rose shimmer, and I don't know if you can see, but this one has gold tint to it. It's very pretty. Okay. This is my L'Oreal Feel Natural Illuminator Mineral Glow in Pink Glow. I never use this. It's too shimmery. Way too shimmery. Okay. Then I have my Milani Blush in Double Impact Blush in Coffee and Cream. And I got this at Big Lots for like 50 cents. I can open it for you guys. It's like really gross right now because it's kind of bold. Then I have my Tarte Cheek Stain in Tickled. 
And this leaked all over before I even opened it. Like, I can't even really get that much color off of it. Oh, well, maybe I can. <laughs> Lied. But it's really pretty and just, like, gives a great reddish cheek glow right there. This is my LA Colors in Toast blush. This one's really intense. I like it. And this is my Revlon blush in Merlot at midnight, but I just got this, so it's not even really opened yet. Opening it. So this is Merlot at midnight. As you can see, I got it at five below. And this one is open, and this one's in Very Daring. I think these are just the prettiest little things. Like, I'm afraid to swatch it with the gold, but that's the, like, yeah, it's intense. Swatch a little bit of the gold. <gasps> oh, the gold comes right off, see? <laughs> it's cool, though. I like them. Next, I have my e.l.f. blushes. This one is mellow mauve these are the studio blushes this one is very merry this one is peachy keen this one like doesn't show up at all for me it's like skin tone this one is Blushing Rose. This one's really pretty. You can tell if you have a, it has a gold shimmer in there. This one is actually a highlight, but it says blush. In Gotta Glow. And this is Candid Coral. Then I have my regular dollar line ones, and this one is Koi. This one's bronze, which came to me like all cracked up. Like, see how it's all cracked and broken? That's how it came to me from Elf. Whatever. This is Innocence. This one's super light. And this one is flushed. I have the hardest time opening these things. And they're really little. Like, picture, this is my finger here. Like, super duper little these are. You can't even really get your blush brush in them. But they're a dollar and they're, it's blush, it's powder. Um, next is the ever so famous, famous NARS orgasm. And if you can't tell here, mine's broken on the corner because it's always in my makeup bag. So it's really annoying that it's broken. But this ah, is NARS Orgasm. And as you can tell, it's been very well loved. It's popping off, though. Then I have my MAC Moon River Blush, which I use as a highlight. It's really pretty. Like This is the highlighty side. And this is the pinky side. And this is my MAC blush in Peachy Keen because I love peachy blushes. Yep. Then I have my Steel All Over Convertible Color. And it's an Ilium. I love this stuff. I really do. Like I said, I'm missing one, but it's a cover girl blush and I can never get this open but this is my physician's formula shimmer strips in rosy glow and then like just to show you guys for kicks this is the free sample I got from coastal scents and it's their little loose brush blush in dare and it's kind of bronzy gold and even though I did just show this to you guys, I do have my Coastal Sense blush palette, 10 color blush palette. Whoa! I love these. And 42 mad palette blushes. 
So like I said, this is most of my blushes and I have a lot. I know, it's an obsession. 